Hey there, everyone. Quick video. I just wanted to showcase some 3D prints uh, that I recently printed uh, using my Bamboo A1 Mini that I just recently purchased. And I wanted to show off, number one, what the Bamboo A1 Mini is capable of printing. Uh, number two, I wanted to show off what FDM printers are capable of printing in general. For those of you who are still trying to decide whether you want to use resin or, or FDM for your tabletop printing. And also, I wanted to shout out Fat Dragon Games for their, Tom tell us his work on the amazing profiles and settings that he's uh, uh, figured out for the Bamboo A1 Mini to get probably the best minis that I've ever seen printed out of, out of FDM. Uh, these are obviously PLA, um, and that's going to get you the best detail with an FDM printer. Um, but let's just look at, at, at some of these prints. So uh, these are bright minis. These are uh, specifically designed for FDM printing, if my camera will focus on this little guy. Come on. There we go. And these are specifically designed um, by the guy who runs Bright Minis to be printed in FDM, so they don't require any supports. And that's going to make a huge difference uh, in your print quality, obviously, with... Uh, with FDM, some amazing detail. Uh, this is using the 0.2 millimeter nozzle, as well as uh, the settings I mentioned previously, which include a 0.08 uh, layer height, and absolutely fantastic quality for 28 millimeter. Uh, these are 25 uh, millimeter bases and 28 millimeter miniatures. For me, as someone who has historically played with cheap Reaper bones and similar. Uh, these are absolutely more than adequate for tabletop. I did not experience a lot of issues with stringing. You will see here and there a little bit of, of bits. I have not post-processed these at all, no uh, heat gun or anything like that, and I've not primed them. So priming, depending on the primer you use, is going to hide or reveal these uh, layer lines and artifacts, depending on the kind of uh, primer that you're using. Certain primers are going to show those artifacts more uh, clearly, and then other primers are going to mask and, and hide those, um, but also you'll lose some of that detail. But honestly, some fantastic work. Uh, these are great sculpts, by the way. I am a member of Bright Minis Patreon, um, a huge selection of minis for a very, very almost unreasonably good price and of course all designed for FDM. This is using as recommended by Tom Tellus the Sunlu uh, Meta PLA in gray and uh, this has given me some great quality. I haven't tried printing in Bamboo's OEM uh, filament and I might give that a try just to see if the quality is significant. The, the detail here on this cape and the lack of layer lines uh, is great. I think the Sunlu Meta being a little bit flowier, more liquidy, viscous, uh, has really helped. You'll see a little bit of some of the issues that FDM does struggle with every now and then with these very tight uh, edges. Now these are printed as you can notice here with the stock textured plate and I was having some experiences of failure points with spindly characters like skeletons and I noticed that it was because the uh, mini as Tom Tillis mentioned in a recent video um, was being knocked loose by the nozzle which was causing uh, as as the bamboo mini is, is a very fast printer was causing the uh, mini to get dislodged from the inertia of the bed and uh, that caused a couple of print failures in certain circumstances. When I um, started experiencing that, I went ahead and used, uh, started using the smooth plate that comes with the bamboo accessory pack for the A1. That's how I also acquired the two millimeter, 0.2 millimeter nozzle. And since then I have not had any issues um, with bed adhesion. I also switched to gyroid infill as also recommended by Tom Tillis, I, I think that's going to improve things a lot, but I have not noticed 
um, the issue return either before or after using the gyroid and the smooth plate. Now these are 28 millimeter and these are some great quality. Every single one of these guys is more than more than adequate for me for tabletop play and more than adequate for my awful paint jobs. But I wanted to show off something else. I did, when I switched over to the smooth plate, I decided to put it through its paces and that meant printing out a 15 millimeter. And when this guy came out, um, looking as good as he did, I was absolutely shocked. Um, this is, honestly, if you had told me this was resin, maybe not 4K resin, but maybe earlier 2K or 1K resin printers, I, I'd honestly believe you. Uh, even the individual thumb there on the wizard came out. You know, for FDM, this is pretty spectacular. Um, and for 15 millimeter play, more than adequate. I mean, I, I can't honestly paint this very you know, all of this detail very well. So this is more than good enough for me. And I think it's standing up uh, next to these 28 millimeters just looks fantastic. Uh, this one here I printed with a brim just to test. I wanted to make sure it didn't fail. And uh, so you'll see a little bit of the residue from that. But I went ahead and tested this second print without a brim and it adhered perfectly fine. You'll notice this guy did have a little bit of stringing Honestly, um, imperceptible to the naked eye for me personally. Um, but like I mentioned previously, these, these aren't post-processed at all. I haven't done any heat uh, treatment or uh, brushing off the, the fuzzies or anything like that. Uh, these are just straight off the bed and chucked. Oop. So small, I can't even hold them. I just chucked into the video. So these are also using um, Tom Tillis settings. And I, and I wanted to just shout out that these are some... Fantastic settings. If I'm able to get near resin quality prints with FDM, this print was 35 minutes or so, a little less, 32 minutes or so. And these, uh, each of these 28 millimeter is about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the bulk. Uh, this guy obviously is a little bit, you know, towards that hour mark, whereas one of these smaller skeletons is, I'm just dropping stuff all over today. Um, a little bit closer to the 45 minute mark. So I just wanted to show off some of these guys. These are some spectacular prints. Um, it, it is great to be able to print an entire Frostgrave Warband in, you know, 10 hours at 28 millimeter, half of that time at 15 millimeter, uh, and get near resin quality, none of the mess and none of the fuss uh, of resin, which, while well, I enjoy the quality uh, for me, I just want to set it and forget it. And that is something that both the Bamboo A1 Mini has been able to achieve and Tom Tellis is, you know, really just t dialed in uh, settings. So shout out to, to Tom Tellis at uh, Fat Dragon Games. Shout out to uh, Bright Minis for their amazing selection of, of miniatures in uh, design for FDM. And shout out to the Bamboo team for designing a really good uh, printer, despite what some people might say about their QA or, or their company. Uh, it is, it is, you know, you can't refute that this is some amazing quality uh, for FDM. So thanks for watching, and I hope uh, if you have any questions about the Bamboo A1 Mini or about printing with FDM, uh, throw them my way and I can try and help you out.